So what's the deal with these three little dots? Today we'll find out. Hey, I'm Ijema and welcome to my channel where we explore JavaScript one module at a time. Today we're going to be talking about spread syntax and rest parameters. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's get started with spread syntax. Spread syntax allows arrays, strings, and objects to be expanded into individual elements and to other literals like arrays and objects. So here we have an array called languages with JavaScript and Python, and we want to create another array called more languages that has not only JavaScript and Python, but Java and Ruby. So we use the square bracket notation and pass in Java and Ruby, and then we use a triple dot notation next to languages to specify that we want to expand or spread out the JavaScript and Python strings. So by doing this, we're able to create more languages array that has Java, Ruby, JavaScript, and Python. The same thing can be done with objects with key value pairs. So here we have our object bleach with the key value pairings of genre with action and episodes count with 366. But let's say that we wanted to create a new object called updated bleach with the original two key value pairs, but also have the new key value pair of ongoing and true. Here we can use the curly bracket notation to create a new object, and then we use the triple dots with bleach to spread out the key value pairs, and then pass in ongoing and true to create our new object with all three key value pairs. Another core feature of spread syntax is that iterable objects such as arrays and strings can be expanded into individual elements and to places where arguments are expected, like functions. So here we have our name Kendrick Lamar, and then we want to use the triple dot notation to spread out each character from the string inside console.log. So since each character acts as its own parameter since it's been spread out, console.log will denote these separate characters as their own parameters with spaces in between each character. Using the spread syntax is actually the same as specifying each character as its own parameter. So how are objects different? You can spread key value pairs from objects into other objects, but it's important to note that because objects aren't iterable, you can't spread key value pairs into function calls. So if we go back to our bleach object and try to use the triple dot notation to spread the key value pairs into console.log, we'll get an error. So we got spread, now what about rest? Just think of it this way. The way that spread syntax expands elements out of collections rest parameters combine multiple elements into a single collection. So here we have our function called generate sentence. And if we look at our argument section, we can see that instead of specifying each possible parameter, we want to catch all past in parameters and denote this with the triple dot notation. So we would be condensing all of our arguments into the array called args. So if we try to call generate sentence where each word is its own parameter, Generate sentence will catch all of those parameters and put it inside an array, and then loop through that array to form a final string that we would want to print out. One of the biggest benefits of using REST parameters is just to provide more flexibility to consumers of these functions, which are just developers by the end of the day. And that's it. That's all you need to know to get started with spread syntax and REST parameters. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Thank you.